morning, everybody. Welcome to our celebration of the Mass. It's the Wednesday of the seventh week of Easter. Let's begin our prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant. And remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can, be, that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing you know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power. The power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is true. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you gave 
that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them. And none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you send me into the world, so I send them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so, uh, this is the uh, other part of the prayer that Jesus was praying with his disciples at the Last Supper Discourse. Um, if you tuned into our, our Mass last weekend, uh, you uh, saw one of our parishioners, Joe Sova, um, praying parts of this prayer uh, with his boys. Um, not sure uh, if that came across uh, as strongly as when, when I just was praying with the words myself, but I, there was so many parts of this prayer that I thought, gosh, a father praying this with his children, it, it makes perfect sense. Um, father, keep them in your name that you have given me. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me. I guarded them. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. Now think about these desires of a, of a father or a mother for their children. Wanting joy completely, wanting to protect their children. I gave them your word, uh, but they don't. They do not belong to the world. But I don't want you to take them out of the world. I just want you to keep them from the evil one. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. These are the the desires that, that every parent, I believe, has for their children. Uh, if you don't, then you maybe need to look at uh, maybe seeing a counselor or a spiritual advisor. Um, but uh, it, it is that desire that, that uh, we can relate to, right? Because uh, as a spiritual father, I can tell you that is my desire for my people, that they remain in truth, that I try to protect them from the evil one. Um, and just, uh, I completely understand the, the sorrow that uh, Paul and his community was experiencing in our first reading today, um, that he was going to be taken from them. Some people have uh, asked me the question, what's the hardest thing about being a priest? And, and my response is leaving a parish. Um, just that same kind of uh, uh, challenge that, that Paul and his community experienced in their separation uh, that's that's what I experience as well, um, but it is that uh, it's it's because there's that love uh, that God pours into us that that brings us together that is hard to uh, to be separated from one another. Um, but I am especially grateful at this time that there's there's many people that I've served in the past that can tune in uh, in in this in these. Uh, virtual masses. Um, but let us continue to uh, pray with this desire that, that God has for each of us. God desires to protect us. He wants us to have that unity uh, with Him, Father, Son, and Spirit. He desires that we be consecrated in the truth. So let us just ask for that grace that, that God can continue to reveal uh, that desire that he has for all of us today.
Let us pray for the church throughout the world that Christians everywhere will continually strive to be consecrated in the truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Pope Francis, for Archbishop Lucas, for all who hold and teach the Catholic faith, that they will inspire us to unity at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who are suffering uh, losses at this time, um, for uh, uh, Charles Whitney's family, for Carla Woodard's family, for Michael uh, Kudelik's family, and for all those who have lost loved ones because of COVID-19, then all those um, in the pains of, of grief and, and loss might uh, be renewed and refreshed in the hope and the consolation that comes from God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, let us pray for uh, favorable weather for our farmers and thanksgiving for this rain that we are experiencing. Um, and now for sunshine to continue to uh, allow the, the, the plants uh, to continue to grow to a great harvest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let's pray for uh, vocations, the priesthood and religious life, especially for those who are about to be ordained for the Archdiocese of Omaha, for Zachary and for Maurizio. And we also pray for Jacob and Paul and Thomas and Gilbrian and Patrick and Luke and Andrew, Trevor, Min and Ryan and Christian. And for vocations from our beloved Sacred Heart Parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this Mass, for David Letts the uh, third, we are, I'm sorry, David Lentz the uh, second, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we ask you to hear all the prayers we bring before you with, with faith and confidence through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth is given in human hands of men. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life. And the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on a journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, in whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that, by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Archbishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Some reflection music as you make your spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you now as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacram sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. And now our prayer for vocations. God, our Father, you made each of us receive our gifts in the body of Christ. We ask that you inspire young people whom you call to the priesthood and consecrated life to courageously follow your will. Send workers into your great harvest so that the gospel is preached, the poor are served with love, the suffering are comforted, and your people are strengthened by the sacrament. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. All right. Have a great day, everybody.